Hey, it's Azure Friday. We're talking with Corey from the Virtual Machines team. Excellent. Hello. Uh, okay, How are so you, Scott? I'm, I'm really low. nice. Because <laughs> you're wonderful. here. You're here to cause well, me trouble. That's good. I wore cologne today, so I appreciate that. Yeah. I've got lots of virtual machines now. Okay. Uh, it's a management nightmare. Yeah. Uh, I've got I've what do I have? That. I've got like what do I have? Eight virtual machines mm -hmm. now. I know I can manage them from here. Yeah. What are the different ways that I can yeah, start, question. stop, delete, shut down, connect yep. to virtual machines? So you know, in addition to the uh, to the great portal experience, right? We also have uh, you know the command line. So we have both PowerShell and we have the uh, cross-platform command line, which mm -hmm. is based on Node, right? And we can show both of those. And cross-platform means. Not just Mac and Linux, but it works on. It does work on. And Linux that's actually too. my preferred yeah, one. I know yeah. you like the PowerShell. Well, one. I mean, yeah, I'm a PowerShell guy. That's you right. you can show me the PowerShell one. Deal. I will show you the I, cross. We'll see who wins. Okay. Okay. Cool. We'll let we'll let the audience vote. Um, the uh, the other aspect of Visual Studio actually has recently released support to be able to manage this, and and you've got this right up right here. Yeah, I just actually clicked here, connect to Windows that's Azure. Beautiful. I logged in. Yep. Uh, so you don't necessarily have to get certificates anymore. Right. And then, actually, there's the, the discourse form that we made for you earlier. Yeah. And I noticed this actually recently. I didn't know this happened, but shows it the shows the endpoints. It does. Which is pretty sweet. Very cool. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So it allows cool. you to immediately sort of detect the SSH versus uh, RDP. And in fact, if you mm -hmm. go to a Windows one, I think you should be able to RDP directly into it. Uh, yes. Yeah, this one here. Yeah, see? Connect to the Yep, desktop. perfect. Exactly. So that's cool. So it's funny. As nice as the portal is, I'm spending less and less time in the portal. Yeah, yeah. And I feel a yeah. little bad. No, for the portal guys. But, Whatever's you know, easy. Whatever's easy. No, this yeah. is this. Well, frankly, this is easier for yep, me. Yep. And this is the same place that I already look for um, for my servers and my other database right. stuff. So. Well, and the nice thing even is for the dev test experience. This also has the ability to sort of do this uh, debugging capability as well, right? So you can actually connect and debug into these things as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. So I, I'll remote into one, and then I'll. Uh, uh, deploy to it. I mean, and the virtual machines I use less than w websites. Okay. Well, I didn't. Well, websites run on virtual thank machines. Thank you. No, this is. Uh, thank you for your time. No. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I but, know. But they I, do I, I. But you know, <laughs> I, I absolutely depend on and really actually use my MySQL, my Sendy one. Okay. Okay. Th these are real things that I use. Yeah. Okay. So that's. Start, stop, create. Uh, I've got my. Um, what do you call these? My endpoints. I can see the private and public, as well as protocol, all within Visual Studio. Now, let's do, you show me the PowerShell one first. Yeah, you want to do PowerShell? Yeah. Actually, do you want, you want to do CrossBlot first? Okay, I'll do CrossBlot. Go, go CrossBlot. Okay, you're going to make, you're going to try to challenge me. Well, we'll see. All right, well, we'll see. I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to challenge you or not based on what you do. Okay, so, the, <laughs> well, I don't know what I'm going to do. So, what you do when you want CrossBlot is you say, npm install Azure dash CLI and then dash dash G. That's for global. And, uh, Dash CLI is kind of a node standard thing. Yeah. There's like grunt dash CLI, Azure dash CLI. Right. There's actually an underlying library called Azure okay. that this depends on. Yeah. NPM is the node package manager. So Windows people just go to Node.js, download it, and it shows up in your path. Mm -hmm. Then you type Azure, uh, you type Azure, and then you get this kind of cool uh, ASCII art, uh -huh. which is nice. That's, Star Wars that Azure. shows that we're serious. Yeah. That's what the ASCII art <laughs> That's is right. about. Yeah. We mean business. <laughs> yes. And if you say you say Azure, it's basically, you know what it is? It's Azure noun verb. Yep. Azure VM list, Azure site list, Azure, <coughs> Azure account, whatever. So I say Azure account, and then these are my account things. So basically you show up and you say Azure account download, mm -hmm. and then it will go and actually launch a browser and then start downloading your subscription file. Yep. And then you say uh, Azure account import, the file name. And then Azure, uh, if you have multiple subscriptions like I do, uh, you then set the default. Yep. But from a virtual machine perspective, Azure VM gets me up here. So it's basically Azure VM verb. So I would say things like Azure VM list. Shows you the whole list. And that should show me the same list that we saw before there, although I've uh, filtered it down because I'm only using the MSDN subscription here. Ah, right, right, right. So that's only my, the ones deployed there. Yep. That's the one that matters to yep. me. Uh, and you can see the ones that we've made, including exactly Cori Forum. So, so there's Cori Forum, Azure VM stop uh, Cori Forum. That's oh, the one we made earlier. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I'm never going to use wow, it. <laughs> Is it stop or shut down? Shut down. Next one's delete. So get ready for it. I'm excited. <laughs> I can I can barely contain myself. Uh, and and uh, the, what's cool about this that I like is that it's a good way to see what's happening uh, under the covers. If I say Azure VM list dash dash JSON, you can kind of get a, a data structure. It actually shows you the, 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 the rest here. Yep. Yeah. So 
let's look at uh, the one that we're deleting. There's Cori Forum, so I can see the IP address of it. There you go. And then there's the endpoints. Yeah, how cool. Right, exactly. And this is such a great way to be able to sort of simplify management of lots and lots of machines. Right, right. right. And I understand, I read on Scott Goo's blog that they're doing a, uh, a library for .NET where mm -hmm. you, can, and you can basically um, uh, automate all these and things. And program against it. In, right, uh, exactly. from, from your Instead of having to write PowerShell or, or, or Node commands. Exactly. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, so I can say Azure VM, uh, and I can also, uh, this is the cool part, we, th we saw in the earlier video about attaching disks. Yep. I can actually create disks yep. from the command line, attach them, do stuff with them, yeah. and then get rid of them. And then get rid of them, yep. Yeah. Great. So that's, that's what I like okay. about this one. Shall I, shall I jump in here and show some PowerShell? Yes, let's, uh, we type in PowerShell and we go to Azure PowerShell. Great. All right, so you see from the PowerShell, obviously, um, you know, we have sort of just the starting point to be able to show sort of all the commands that we've got available. Um, they've uh, formed sort of a similar rules uh, around sort of the add and get. It's basically very PowerShell-esque rules. Right, they do verb uh, dash noun. Verb dash noun, exactly. Right. So it's, it's similar, uh, but, but slightly different. And, um, and so what I'll do here, actually, let's just get out of this, is I'll go ahead and say add. Azure account, and this is a very recent change actually, where you no longer have mm. to do any certificate management. So just like Visual Studio, it'll sign right in, and so here this should sign in, and there we're good to go. Okay. Okay. Oh, interesting. So it actually viewed all of my subscriptions. It, it went ahead and signed them all in. And then it says, uh, okay, and then it picked the first one. Okay, great. So let me do this actually. So let me do uh, just a get command and say Azure um, uh, Azure VM. I think that's the right command. Well, see, this is what's cool about this stuff is that you can actually type, you can actually guess. Yeah. So so I'm guessing like Azure VM. Remember I said uh, stop and it was wrong. It was shut down. Yeah, that's right. You could probably type uh, get if I may guess get Azure V and then hit tab. And then it would auto complete. That's right. That's right. So um, exactly right. Oh, it looks like that was correct. Oh, this account doesn't have any VMs in it. So. Oh, well, that's so, <laughs> so. So that's funny. Let's actually go back. It says to uh, view subscription. To get to, Azure we want to just select Azure account. That's right. Get Azure subscription. There you go. So exactly guessing. right. Okay. Exactly right. So I want that one. So then so uh, so that's it. Select subscription. Select subscription. Select Azure exactly. subscription. Yep. Okay. And then you so can tap complete that. Select Azure subscription. There you go. And then subscription name. Okay. So okay, then now let's now let's do that. Get command. hit F uh, F seven. Yep. What about that? That's a good one. Look at this. Someone yep. was like, "Is that Windows 8? I'm like, "No, it was actually DOS yeah. four. <laughs> but uh, like, oh, and there okay. you go. And, okay. there, and so there you same have them, right? Thing. And so you can see sort of the stopped and the start, right? See, so now you're going to make um, me think I want to use the PowerShell. Yeah. <laughs> ah, well, hang on. These are PowerShell objects then, so I can then sort them and and select them and stuff. That's right. I noticed it came out That's in right. Call, in exactly, columns. exactly. So you end up you can very easily pipe this into another set of commands, right? And so it allows you to do sort of that sort of piping. Mm. You see Cory forum yeah. shut, shut down. That's right. That I shut down the other dot. That's box. right. You just you just shut that down. So I can do actually let me do um, a new uh, and let me just say uh, uh, shift complete this on a V uh, and they say okay great new Azure VM. Uh, let's call this um, Cory forum better. Uh, VM then. zero exactly. Uh, Corey is great. Okay. Oh, Corey uh, is really great. Corey does not know what he's doing. <laughs> Why are there so many? <laughs> well, because you're talking about there making a so bunch of farmed VMs, many right? Many options. No, that's that's not how that works. <laughs> so, if we go and say, man, new <laughs> Azure VM. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I lost. But you're going to get it. That's okay. <laughs> so the service name is like... Uh, That's the group. The group. That's right. So then, but when you do it from the command like that, there's no way to like skip out to the next one that I know of. Right. So you say dash, and then this is an array of VMs. Oh, they just changed this, actually. Oh, of course. That's yeah. that, <laughs> that must that be That must it. be, that that must must be, be the problem. Because yeah. you, you can actually pass in a data structure that's an array of these VMs. Got it. These persistent, got it, got these it, persistent got it, got VMs. It. I see. I can see. You, let me ask you this, though. Can you delete that one? We definitely I've, can, yes. Delete uh, the one that I shut down here. Yes. Yep. Is it just delete dash yeah, Azure it just VM? Be delete. Yeah, it should be, yeah. Or remove? Is it delete or remove? See? These are the, the things you start. What, yeah, yeah see? there you go. There Once you go. start to learn the, the verbs, the isms. Yep. I guess it's there just you go. that. Let's try this and let's say. It's interesting. You liked the interactive. I do. Yeah. Right? And I'm betting. Oh, see, that, that's interesting. So I'm guessing, let me see if I can get rid of one of these, that if, and this is just guessing, I, I, we have no script here. That's right. Uh, that I bet I could, um, let me go and open another one. 
I bet you that I could um, get a VM and pipe it through remove. You can. That, you can. That would make sense. That's right? absolutely right. Yep. So get Azure VM. Uh, let's get rid of uh, one of my Visual Studio ones, Hanselman Visual. Pipe remove. And there you go. It's gone. Okay, that one's gone already. Yep. There you go. Does that work? Uh, let's see if that one responds. Yeah, so you may not be. Get yeah, you may Azure. not have been uh, logged into the account in that, in that window. Oh, you're going to have different accounts yeah, in different yeah, yeah. windows. So let's see here. Get, get okay. Azure VM. Oops. Uh, what did we say? Handsome and visual. So that makes that, that there you go. And there we I go. And now you can that pipe that right in to, to remove, remove Azure VM. Yep, that's right. And this is a great way, actually, to if you're when you're spinning up VMs, okay. All right. you can create and then pipe them into create new additional endpoints or create right, additional, right, right. add additional disks. Right. So we see a lot of people who sort of create the VM and then immediately create add disks to it. Right. And that's why I was teasing you a little bit on the command line that you were doing because uh, it'll put you in an interactive mode. But that's but not the way people really PowerShell want to use PowerShell wants you to no totally pipe stuff. You're around. right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Okay. You've embarrassed me. I, no, I, I, no. No. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, the, the part that the most significant about this that I like is that, uh, and again, I use the XPlat, you use PowerShell, is it's calling the same RESTful endpoints. That's right. The back end is all the same, so, right? And so it's an open REST endpoint that you can also write to uh, uh, if you want to. And we do have a lot of partners who have written to the REST endpoint. Right. Yep. And on, on the screen here now, there's the script center. And I, was, I just actually learned that this existed. Uh, there's ways that you can deploy entire farms. That's right. Like I was very proud when I got my little five Linux machine right. working. That's right. That's but right. But then, uh, then I mentioned this to somebody and he's like, oh, well, I did a complete SharePoint installation and one PowerShell script. Exactly right. Yeah. So it was just like, yep. and it went and it made a bunch of stuff. That's right. That's right. That's right. Actually, and, and uh, we've been working on these scripts for a little while, uh, but you can see here for virtual machines specifically, right, you can go in and you can uh, take this deployment script. And IIS, front end, Mongo, back end. Yep. Why? Because you can. Exactly. Why would you not do this? Yeah. Why so actually, you? if you click, scroll down here. Oh, okay. Uh, there's, uh, the, there's the code. There's the code right there. And if you actually want to open it up, we open source all these. So um, oh, yeah? scroll back up here and, and actually click on the, the um, let's see here, agree. Does that take you to the window here? Or oh, you can actually just open it up. Uh, scroll down from this window, actually, if you want to. Okay. Um, and uh, oh, there's, there's the whole script. Oh, there's I apologize. There's the whole script, there's right. The whole no, script right there. Yep. Yeah, so they've built a function basically that then calls takes parameters, exactly. takes, takes parameters and calls the other ones. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So then you can sort of see this is where and and the nice thing about this and we've seen a lot of people do this they pick these up and they actually make edits to them, right? They take them, they make them their own, right? And yeah, so the yeah. SharePoint script we see a lot of people making a lot of edits to and building on top of. Very cool. Yeah, very very cool indeed. Scripting virtual machines. It's Azure Friday. Thank mm -hmm. you.